Hello everyone, this is Sorry Majesty. Welcome to the third novel in the last Minecraft series called The Admin. A few months had passed since the crafters fled a new being called The Admin. This person took control of Sorry Majesty and called out for the crafters' termination. Now it is up to them to figure out how to stop him. Zuma, can you hand me that wrench? asked Zarin. Zuma handed him the wrench, and Zarin tightened a bolt. Zarin stood up and looked at his weaponized vehicle. Impressive, said Zuma. Hopefully this will stop the admin in its tracks. Zarin was about to speak when Corrales, Corrales rushed in. Haven't seen you in a while, Zuma said. Where have you been? I was trapped in a pale dimension, Corrales told them. I brought the other hermits along. Good, we need all the help we can get, Zarin said. We're at war. Zuma, Kras, and Zarin went to the mess hall to greet the hermits that were in the parallel dimension. Beef, XB, Ethel, Zuma said. Glad you guys are safe. The hermits that came from the parallel dimension haven't aged in 16 years. Ethel walked up to Ixuma and gave him a hologram. This was in our dimension, he told him. My guess is the admin has his ways of teleporting to different worlds. The color from Exuma's face drained. He knew what the message was. We can't stay here, he told them. Get the others. We need to go get out of Earth's mountain. And go where? The XB asked. The admin can go anywhere. I know a place, Exuma told him. I need to contact a certain person for it. Exuma texted the person and another portal opened up. They all went in and were in the scary survival world. Wasn't this world deleted? Corrales asked. It was, Zuma said, but your stream even tested the where you built it and put it in a secret server. The admin doesn't know it here. Your stream approached the hermits. I heard what happened, your stream said. Is it true that Sorin has been taken over? The hermits looked at the ground, and your stream stared in shock. That's impossible, he said. There's no way his body was taken over. Eorstream fell to his knees. Eve rushed to him. Eorstream, these people are in danger, she said. They need our protection. Eorstream nodded and brought them to a castle. Isn't that Hades' castle? Ixuma asked. It's a lot cleaner. We made it so that no more evil can get into this world, Eve told them. We will be safe here. She kept looking at the sky with concern. Zuma looked up and saw that the stars were spinning. Eve, what's going on with the stars? He asked. Protocol, she said. If we're found, those stars will shoot the person trying to attack us. The hermits got nervous as they entered the castle. Inside were beds and food. Tess, Steve, and Zarin were waiting for them. Zarin? Zuma said, how do you get here so quickly? I have the access key, he told him, but I fear that the admin is not too far. What? Eva exclaimed. He's here? We have to act now, Zarin told them. I have aligned the stars in the exact position to extract the admin from Sorin's body. You can't do that, Eve said. The immense power will kill him. We have no choice, Zarin said. Zarin got an alert and pressed the button. A bright light flashed from the outside and everyone rushed to the door. They saw the admin who was taking over Sorin's body being zapped by every star in the world. The admin yelled in pain along with Sorin. No! I will not be defeated by the measly crafters! The admin yelled. You are not killing my friends! Sorin yelled. Get out of my body! An explosion occurred and two bodies separated from the bright light. They got up and looked at each other. That's better, the admin said. Now that I have my own personal body, I can kill you. The admin raised his hand, and Sorin floated up. His throat tightened as he felt the admin's hand squeeze air. Such a pity, the admin sighed. You are going to be one of my elite soldiers, taking down hackers, trollers, making Minecraft into a paradise for us admins. Minecraft is for everyone.
Thorin gasped. I am here. For everyone. The Ironman closed his hand. But Soaring didn't die. Instead, he glowed gold. What is this power? The admin asked. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Soaring stood up and looked at the admin. He then saw a portal open up and saw two wolves. Darrow, Anton, said Soaring. You came back. You can't expect to have all the fun, said Darrow. Now, brother, let's defeat this tyrant. Couldn't agree more, said Anton. The hermits, Eorstream, Eve, and Testy came out of the castle with armor and swords. The admin backed away. None of you can defeat me, the admin told them. None of you are admins. Actually, Zuma said, some of us are. Sorry, Eve, Eorstream, you guys ready? They nodded. They placed their hands on their hearts and glowed different colors. Sorry was already gold. Zuma glowed green, Eve glowed pink, and Eurostream glowed blue. The admin yelled in anger. This was not supposed to happen, he yelled. I destroyed those prophecy books. The crafters stood in front of him and used their powers to defeat him. The admin yelled in agony as he turned to ashes. They looked at each other, then looked at Soaring. Don't tell me you're about to be possessed again, Zuma said. Thorin lifted his shirt and showed them a protection rune. They all sighed in relief. They were about to go home when Thorin was shot in the back. He yelled in pain and fell to the ground. They all turned to see Zarin with a crossbow. Zarin, what are you doing? Zuma exclaimed. You just killed your brother. Zarin's eyes glowed black and red. And everyone backed away. The wolf brothers growled and transformed. He's a true foe we've were warned in, about by our father, said Darrow. Brother, we cannot let him near the crystal. Agreed, said Anton. Shall we rip him to shreds? Yes, growled Darrow. They charged at Zarin and leapt into the air. None of that beast, said Zarin. Zarin waved a hand, and the wolf brothers slammed into the mountainside. Darrow, Anton, yelled Scar. Zarin, you just injured the two most powerful beings. Zarin grabbed his sword and plunged it into Daro. Anton watched as his brother's soul was taken into the sword's blade. How is that possible? He asked. No one has a sword like that. The only one ha that had that is dead. Zarin chuckled. Yes, he is, Zarin mused. It took me years to perfect another sword like it. For years I had to endure in my brother's shadow. Helping him save this realm and earth. No more will I help. I will make everything in my image. The day of reckoning has come. He stabbed Anton and took his soul. The crafters drew their swords, but knew that Zarin is more powerful than them. Zarin sent a shockwave towards them and knocked them out. They all awoke in separate tubes and saw Sorin in a central tube. He was awake, but gravely injured. Sorin, Zuma yelled. Can you move? Yeah, Sorin groaned. But I don't have any weapons on me. Sorin is draining my life source. It's also draining your life source and everyone else's. Zuma cursed and looked at the tube. The tube's made out of a sub obsidian, he said. There's no way to break it. Mumbo, can you try something? I've tried every possible outcome to break out, said Mumbo, but these tubes are impenetrable. Even the glass is unbreakable. They saw Sorin collapse in his tube. Stay with us, Sorin, said Corrales. You are not dying on us. Actually, he is, said Zarn from across the room. Zarn approached Sorin's tube and tapped the glass. So, the small crafter falls, Zarn gloated. Took me 16 years, but I finally did it. Not over, Zarin. Zarin said weakly. I still have a secret plan. No, you don't, said Zarin. I know all about your plans. I can stop you by killing you now. Zarin pressed a button, and Zarin's life source was drained completely. Zarin opened the tube, and Zarin's body fell out, lifeless. 
The crafter stared in horror as their friend was now dead. Now to rule both realms, said Zarin. Computer, drain everyone else's life source. Zarin left, and the crafters felt the life source draining. One by one, they fell. Zuma, this can't be happening, said Grian. We weren't supposed to die. Zuma stared at everyone dying before him. He was the last one, and then he fell. He awoke in a different realm. Everything was brighter and cleaner. He saw Zorin holding out his hand. I'm going to kill my brother, Zorin told him. But now I can tell you guys my secret plan. He helped Exuma up, and they met everyone else at the a pavilion. It was a Greek structure, and everyone was amazed. Is this the Aether? asked Corallus. I thought it would be in our world. Used to be, said Zorin. The Minecraft gods moved it so that we could never be with them when we were alive. Now that we are dead, we could see them. So what's your plan? We talk to a god, said Sorin. Sorin went to a, the palace and knocked on the door. It opened and he heard a voice. I have waited for you, young hero, said the goddess. You have fought bravely in this war. I can't be done. Sorin told her, my brother has complete control of the worlds. I have to stop him. In time, the goddess said, you must train your soul in vigorous combat. Your allies have helped you along the way, but you must do this on your own. Zorin looked at Ikazuma. He couldn't abandon his friends, knowing that they were the ones that helped him defeat every enemy they have ever faced. We'll cheer you from the sidelines. Zuma told him, it's your time to shine. Zorin understood. He faced the goddess and knelt. I'm ready, he said. The goddess sent a bolt of energy, and Soaring felt an immense wave of power. He stood up and swiped the, his sword at a mountain. A chunk of the mountain fell off, and Soaring stared in disbelief. I am that powerful? He asked the goddess. Use this power to defeat your brother, the goddess told him. I sense that your brother has tapped into more lethal energies. Go now. The goddess opened a portal, and Soaring went in. And that will do it for part one of the admin. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of the admin. Part two is going to come out very soon. This is Sorry Majesty signing off.